Hi, I'm Markus from crosstech.org and today I'd like to introduce you to our Breezing Commerce and Breezing Forms integration. Um, with this integration, uh, you can use Breezing Forms to act as a, um, a product configuration tool within uh, your product details. For example, um, adding text um, or images, files, uh, uh, collect uh, additional uh, collecting additional data that you probably need uh, when somebody orders your products. Um, and you have the full uh, flexibility of breathing forms. Um, there is, um, of course, there are, uh, are options and accessories uh, available for breathing commerce. Um, but if you uh, if you need a little bit more, um, then uh, breathing forms uh, comes into play. Um, you can also add up to prices. Um, so the the integration is divided into two parts that are separated from each other. Uh, on one hand, it's uh, collecting data part. It is done with. Uh, um, uh, product uh, with a product details uh, plugin for Breezing Commerce, and uh, if you then need to add up to prices, uh, you will need the product price plugin uh, for Breezing uh, Forms as well. Um, I also assume in this tutorial that you already know how to uh, install Breezing Forms and Breezing Commerce, and um, that you know how you know, how to set up and use both. Um, for Breezing Forms, you will also need to install the content plugin and enable it, uh, which is done already in this tutorial. And I also created um, a form already in Breezing Forms, which is supposed to, um, uh, to be a, a form for collecting data for t-shirt printing. So um, you can add a slogan that is to be printed uh, on a t-shirt, a logo that is uh, supposed to be printed on a t-shirt. And then you have um, some options for extras you want to have for this um, uh, for, for this product. And in uh, Brisbane Commerce, I already created uh, another product as well. Uh, it's a simple product with a zero price, um, nothing special here. So uh, then I would say let's get uh, let's get started and connect the uh, Brisbane Forms and uh, Brisbane Commerce. Uh, by that, I'm going to the plugin section of Breezing Commerce and choose the product details Breezing Forms plugin and install it. Of course, we need to enable it. And then, uh, when you go back to your product, you see this tab Display Plugins. And um, here you have several options, uh, such as uh, what form to use. Uh, where the form is supposed to be displayed. Uh, you could include and exclude fields uh, and hide and show the dynamic totals. Um, when you include or exclude fields, this is meant uh, for including uh, or excluding fields uh, within um, the card, order screens and uh, invoices. So if you uh, use the input fields, just these fields would show up there. If you exclude fields, everything except these excluded fields would show up. So um, when I save everything, we should see here in the front end where uh, the product um, is already shown without the um, uh, without the um, description. I left it empty. So when I reload it, it should show up the form, uh, which is correct. And uh, yeah, then I would like to order. I am a slogan, and probably adding. Uh, logo and I would like to choose all of the options and then I'm adding it to the card. Um, as you can see here, the prices didn't change. Um, well, it shows uh, uh, here plus five, uh, plus one, plus three. Um, that is specified uh, in uh, breathing forms in uh, right into the labels. So it doesn't have any um, any impact on the prices as we are only using the content plugin for um, uh, for breathing commerce. So as you can see here, um, I just uh, added this as information. So um, if you didn't, uh, if you don't want to use uh, the prices, you simply would remove that as it's uh, simple text um, within the form. Um, but basically, um, that is how it works. So I'm going to the checkout. We have zero price. This is also not a problem for this demonstration. Uh, some shipping will be added. We have the final overview. Um, so you can see everything is shown here as well. And then I'm going to place the order. 
And going back to the other screen, you will see that you have here the order, you have, your, you have the order item, and here you have the, um, the outcome of, uh, um, of the form. So you can do your business actions on it, uh, pr printing a t-shirt basically, and in the invoice it's shown as well, of course. So now uh, I would like to add up um, prices. Um, for this, uh, I need to install a second plugin uh, for the for managing uh, the prices, and this would be um, one minute the product price plugin. You're also uh, enabling, enabling the plugin is important. Heading back to the product, we'll show you another tab, the price plugins tab. And here you see uh, the breezing forms prices. You can use um, the, breezing, uh, the breezing forms display plugin um, by itself, um, but it has a companion, the price plugin, uh, which can only work if the display plugin is installed. So um, this will work um, just by itself. Uh, so uh, the display plugin is required. <coughs> so for each um, for each field that you uh, defined in uh, breezing forms, um, you have the ability to um, choose a product text class for each field for the price of each field, um, inherit from the main product text class, or set it to none, uh, whatever you need, uh, and you have um, some pricing strategies. Uh, fixed price means um, if I want to add a slogan, let's say, um, what did we tell you? Uh, how much would cost? Nothing. Okay, this is for the extras. So let's say um, if I um, specify a slogan, it would cost $10 to print that slogan. And um, when I save this, as soon as it is a fixed price and its value is more than uh, zero, uh, filling in this um, this form field would result uh, uh, ten uh, to be um, ten to add up ten dollars to the to the price. So instead of zero, um, we would uh, we would already have ten dollars. Uh, but then we have these options here that we want to add up to the prices. So these are extras, and extras are a little bit special because they are groups. Uh, in that case, they are groups, checkbox groups. And um, if I want to, um, I could, in principle, add a fixed price here. It works like this, that the expected value that arrives uh, would trigger uh, the right price. So um, we have exactly um, this value. Well, let me add all the values. So this value, for example, would add to 5, this value would add, uh, add up to 1, and this value would add up to 3. And um, so basically we have it like this, when somebody has a slogan, we have uh, an add up of 10, and if um, extras are chosen, then it will be either 5, 1, or 3 and that, going, that are going to be added. So let's try that out. I am a slogan, this is 10, and then I'm going to choose all of the extras, oh, I forgot to choose a uh, lower, and as you can see it's $10 plus 9, so you have $19, um, simply because you added the slogan and added uh, some extras uh, with these values. You see that it already does the job. Then I'm going to add some chip, uh, shipping. So the final price will be 29, oh, it's not dollars, it's euros that's specified here, sorry for that. So again, we're going to check out. Order has been done and should show up here properly. So, uh, from here it's uh, um, the same principle like before. Um, you see all the data that has been submitted and you can operate on. Uh, the difference here before is before we had um, 
we had um, we had so to say zero price, um, but it was just the shipping cost. And um, here we have um, the full price uh, with no taxes specified, <coughs> but um, that doesn't matter in this uh, example. The important part is that here um, uh, the prices have been added up to properly, and um, all the data is uh, displaying uh, in your order screen, so you can process your um, yeah your business actions. Um, there are a few more options available here for the price plugins. Um, you can add the price rule as well instead of a fixed price, which means if the field is submitted, if there is a value and the price is, um, is more than zero, then you can uh, choose an operation here and uh, connect with the value uh, of some other field. Yeah? Or you can simply use the value as um, uh, as submitted uh, by the form. Um, this, in, in some cases, um, this could be a little bit dangerous as it theoretically uh, enables the customer to um, to adjust the prices himself. So this is for cases uh, where it's not so um, so dangerous for for your business if you would allow that, <coughs> where you can easily see, for example, in the uh, in the order screen that. Um, the prices uh, have been altered, but in any way, this should be used um, with care. And then you can use um, PHP code. Um, I can show you that too. If you, the simplest way is uh, would be like specifying a price. Let's say another hundred for the uh, for the slogan. And if I choose a slogan. And logo, you should see a price of 100, which it does. Um, in the same way, uh, this in a similar way, it works for groups as well. So the price rules uh, would be similar, um, except that you have to specify them like this. Uh, so they would meet the uh, would meet. Uh, the, uh, the value of another field, for example, uh, how did we name it? Oh, slogan. So if I would add this in price rule, five times slogan, also five euros times slogan, the value of slogan would be 500, for example, in that case. Um, value uh, adds up the same like uh, with non-group uh, fields and code, uh, it's the same thing. So um, yeah, that's it basically and how the integration works. Um, I hope I could give you an insight in, uh, into um, how easy it is uh, to use uh, this integration. Uh, we know from the past <coughs> with uh, our plugin for Virtumart that it wasn't um, so easy at all to set it up, uh, if I would say it nicely. And I think we did a good job here and um, for Brisbane Commerce. And uh, really hope you uh, enjoy the integration. If you have uh, any kind of question, um, you can uh, contact uh, contact our support. Um, yeah, and um, best of success with your business. Then bye.